Hi guys, this is Prajit and welcome back to RC Trucks. In my last video, we did uh, the review and unboxing of uh, GT Power Container Truck Lighting and Voice Vibration System. Which I'm sure you guys would have uh, checked it out. So uh, what we are going to do today is uh, we'll try to wire this system into the RC truck and see how the connections are made and uh, how to make it work. So uh, now let's see what are the things we need to get this thing working. First of all, the GT Power truck lighting and voice vibration system and uh, the ESC which is already on my truck. A uh, six channel receiver, this one, and uh, a battery pack for the truck itself, as well as the lighting system. And then we have this transmitter, which we're going to use uh, to control the lights. So, starting with the lighting system, let's get it all out. Speaker, the vibration motor, and uh, let's see. the control module, the lights and the cables, and we also have a user manual, but uh, I don't think this is very informative and useful. It has very little information regarding the connections. So I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay, now let's disregard this. So uh, moving on, let's try to wire it. So here's the cables, the LEDs. Let's pull it all out. Let's separate it. Uh, what we have here is some um, connectors, the connector cables and uh, the LEDs. Okay, let's start with the connections. As you can see, my truck is already assembled, so uh, the ESC is, off, is in place, the shift servo is in place and the direction servo as well. We'll start with uh, the battery, power supply to the battery. If you are wondering why my battery looks square instead of the long one under the truck, it's because I plan to convert this RC tractor into a dumper. So I think this battery will be a hindrance because uh, you know, a dumper usually does off-road stuff. And I plan to install this battery somewhere inside the cabin. I just have to figure it out, but at a later stage. So.
reverse lighting yeah, and these two go here the next one would be 5 mm red LED and this is for the brake lights And always make sure the black wire is on the bottom side and the red wire is on the upper side because the positive is on the upper side. Next one is a white 
5 mm LED again and uh, this should be for the headlights again must be your low low beam and you have your 5 mm white LED again two numbers and this should be your high beam for the truck mm orange LEDs this is your turn signal left oops sorry I mean the right side right side turn indicators and uh, finally the orange 3 mm LEDs for your left side So that's it we have hooked it all up and uh, what's left next is to try turning it on so let me just you know arrange this so that uh, everything can be seen while I turn it on so let's see where do I start so uh, I am using an avionics 6 channel transmitter six channel model and uh, let's turn it on first turn on the ESC and then let's turn on the transmitter and bingo we have the status light on the receiver light is on so the connection is good Let's start the truck. There it is. The truck is on. Have the on. This is your brake light. Indicators. Well, let me just um, lift my truck a little upwards, otherwise it's going to run off this table if I happen to run it. Okay, that box there should lift my truck up. And uh, let's do it again. There you go. Engine start. Left indicator, right indicators, forward, brakes, brake lights, reverse. And uh, turning it off now. That's it. And now let's try the headlights and the hazard. I have all the headlights. I have four headlights the low beam as well as the high beam. That's only the fog lamps. And this is the fog lamps with all the headlights, all four headlights. And off. That is the hazard warning. And uh, yeah, I think I haven't shown the vibration, vibrating motor when the truck starts. Let me just show it to you. So let me show you the vibrating motor how it works just keep an eye on my hand as well as the motor oh 
Oh god, <laughs> the vibration is very strong. I hope this doesn't rattle my quota. I'm gonna shut it down now. Just watch. That's it. That's the vibration motor. So stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna fix this voice vibration system and lighting into my truck and uh, that should give you all a better idea as to how it might look on it and I hope this wiring video has been very helpful to you guys as well so uh, please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, see you around